Greetings all and welcome to Platform 32. My name's Ian Higton and this behind me is Nightingale, the brand new survival crafting game that has just launched literally an hour and a half ago. The reason why I've started at half six and not 6 p.m. as normal is because this game is 60 gigabytes and I only got the download going at 5 p.m. But uh, it's worth it's it's worth those 60 gigabytes because it looks very pretty and this is right at the start of the game. Uh, so I'm going to be making my way through the tutorial area and showing you how this game plays. But you might also notice something up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. That's right, this is the very first Platform 32 sponsored video, sponsored by just about Nightingale. Now, what is just about Nightingale? You might be wondering, well, just about is a platform, a website, where uh, content creators and passionate fans can share their stuff and uh, occasionally get uh, paid for it too. Now, JustAbout.com is actually um, was actually created by Rupert Lohman, who was my old boss at Eurogamer, who interviewed me and gave me my job at Eurogamer. So technically, it's his fault that I'm on the internet so much. So uh, if, if you want to blame anyone, it's it's Rupert. But Rupert, um, I spoke to Rupert a while back about uh, Just About, and I, I thought the, the idea was really interesting. And um, Just About has partnered with Nightingale. Uh, on its launch to create a community based around Nightingale and um, in that community there are things called bounties and these bounties are challenges set by uh, the Just About team or by the, the game's developers um, which uh, you as members of Just About if you choose to join it can take part in and then uh, if, uh, if you're voted on and you win you can uh, win a financial reward in the form of some dollars. Let's have a quick look at the website so I can show you an example. So the link in the video description below will take you to Just About Nightingale, which is, uh, you know, the game I'm playing. But as you can see on the website behind me, there are a bunch of different communities. There's films and TV, there's tech, there's music. There's even sports communities here. And this is going to be built on as the website um, grows. It's still in beta at the moment, as you can see up in the top left-hand corner. Um, but we're going to be concentrating on Nightingale today. Nightingale is the second community, the video game community, that just about has started. There's also one for EVE Online here. And there's general ones as well. And as you can see, there are these things called bounties. Now, it took me a little while to get my head around the bounties because um, it's kind of like a brand new idea, I guess, earning earning money from content creation and being positive in a community um, is, is a new thing in terms of uh, website stuff. But if we click on the bounties now, I can go through how it works with you. So Platform 32, that's me. I have done a guest bounty, and that guest bounty is build the tallest structure from wood and stone. Uh, let me actually click on that to get the full thing. And up there, you can see that there are five available prizes of $25. Here is the time limit. So people who join the website have got nine days, five hours, 25 minutes and 32 seconds. Nice, see what I did there? to go into Nightingale, head to the Respite Realm, your home realm, and build an impressive structure out of wood and stone building blocks. Now, this is a, this is a bounty that I suggested. Uh, the Respite Realm is a great place to build without being disturbed by too many enemies. And uh, I said to use basic wood and stone building blocks so everyone gets a chance to do it because nine days is a long time. Some people might push forward and get fancy crafting stuff, but with wood and stone, you can build some. You can you can build basic frameworks and see how high you can get it, how impressive you can get it. In the uh, the preview build I did, I made this awesome wooden bridge across the canyon. So maybe it doesn't have to be tall. Maybe it has to be long and fancy. Um, once once you have um, 
built it, or you, or, uh, you know, once you have created your thing, all you have to do is join justabout.com. In that, you can log on and you can uh, join with your uh, YouTubes, your TikToks, your social medias and stuff, and you can upload and share your screenshots or videos. And then, once you've submitted it, it will be judged once the time runs out. And five of you will earn £25, or $25 even. And uh, the, the, the scale of the bounties is different. There's loads of different ones, like this one, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, $6, eight available. Send us a video of a scenic umbrella ride. A little bit easier than building something, uh, you know, a, a massive tower. So a little bit of smaller bonus. But the more you contribute, the more you join the community, the more chance you have of earning some extra cash, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to be attempting to build some... How now, fleshling? Fleshling? Whither wander you lost in our Feywilds? I'm going to be attempting to build a structure once I get to the Respite Realm, but because I couldn't get the game downloaded in time to get through the tutorial stuff, uh, I'm not going to have a huge amount of time game's a bit quiet, is it? Uh, not going to have a huge amount of time to um, build, I don't think, but I'll give it a go. This is literally, you wake up on the floor of this canyon and Puck is like your guide. If you've ever played Valheim, he's kind of like the raven in Valheim. He'll pop up and like let you know when you've done something cool or give you some tips. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers. You refuse to be snuffed out. Mm. Now, like I said, I've only just really started checking out just about um, just about's website, getting my head around everything. Just about is watching. They are uh, in the chat. Um, employees from just about and if you have any questions they'll they'll be happy to answer them for you it, it, like I said it's a brand new kind of platform it's a it's a very original idea and um, you know it, there's bound to be a fair few questions about it but uh, they are they will be happy to help you in t comments if you want to ask them a question in the YouTube comments that is this game is also streaming on twitch but uh, just about, I think, are only in the YouTube comments. Anyway, I Puck talks a lot. You to a safer realm so and once... rebuke death, unlike so many oh, of that your kin. So uh, I will start skipping through Take his stuff after a while because I have not played through this section. Play before. them and let amiable bond be drawn between Fay and Fleshling. Fay and Fleshling. So the thing Give I me your hands. He just talks. He friends. talks a lot. Oh, he and wants to be friends with me. And I shall restore amends. Hurry yonder toward on. port. Already... Travel to the forest byway swiftly. Across, Across the, the divide, divide, a greater gift awaits. Uh huh. Thanks. So one of the things that really drew me to this game initially, because I got a little bit sick of crafting games. I've played so many of them. Um, but this one, what really interests me about this is the way that you use cards to procedurally generate realms that you can then visit and have adventures in and mine for resources or go and gather extra cards or resources to craft cards which you can then put in portal machines like this to create realms. So for instance here we've put a forest card down um, so this will create a realm with a lush forest and uh, there's a byway realm card here as well uh, it's going to be small and um, it's going to be pretty chill. And there are a lot of cards to find and craft. So the potential for building or going on, uh, you know, epic adventures in procedurally generated worlds where no one has ever been before is, is pretty cool, in my opinion. Faye Deal says Inspired Zombie. Hey to everyone joining. The forest card would honestly make a very pretty print, says Samantha MB. A lot of the stuff in this game 
would make pretty prints. The artwork in this game is great. If I don't know if you have watched the Let's Play that Zoe and I did on Eurogamer. I did pay a lot of attention to the uh, butthole of an elephant. But in general, we were very, very impressed by how beautiful the game looked. So here we go. These two cards, or those two cards, have created a realm. Now, I don't believe this one is procedurally generated. This is the tutorial, of course, and, and it looks like where I went before. Uh, it looks like I've been I, I've been here before when I played the preview version. Count basically. thyself among the fortunate few who managed to flee the pale's noxious proliferation. Nightingales. Okay. The I'm just gonna the I'm gonna skip past. If you wanna, if you wanna hear everything Puck says, get the game for yourself. It's out now on Steam. Uh, the, 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 the important thing we need to pay attention to is up on the top right. I need to find a source of food. Acquire some raw berries. Now, I don't know. Those are very red berries. Not sure you should be eating them. Not unless you want to be pooping through the eye of a needle for the rest of the day. Uh, but I can use F to eat those berries with my offhand. There we go. So I've eaten some food. Might as well grab a few more berries while I'm here. But now, now my mission is acquire rocks, sticks, and five berries. So, as you can see, I don't have an axe or anything yet. So what I need to be on the lookout for is piles of sticks like this. I need to look out for the berries. And when I played the preview of this game, it took me a while to find some rocks. What I had to do, or where I found them... How many more sticks? I need two more sticks. I found them by the shore. So if I head down by the shore, we might find... Here we go. These little clusters of rocks are what you're looking for. So that actually had four rocks in it, that cluster. There we go. I've got everything I need. Now I, need, I can build a campfire. So let's head back up into this little clearing kind of thing where I started. That's a nice statue, isn't it? There's a lot of fancy architecture lying around in this game. Just willy-nilly spawned out of nowhere. It's very beautiful. Uh, right, I need to press B to bring up my crafting and build... Well, my building menu. Crafting menu is there. Click on here. I get the recipe for a campfire. So what I want to do is I want to place that campfire. I can place it anywhere I want. I can uh, rotate it. I can adjust the height. Well, I can't place it anywhere I want. Some places it goes red. Looks like I can place it anywhere I want at the moment. Uh, then if I close that, and I can press E to auto-add everything I've picked up. So there you go. How to cook on the campfire. We need to add some fuel to it, of course. And obviously something to cook with as well, which is why we got the berries. So if I uh, interact with it now, we've got roasted berries. I want to cook those. Let's add some raw berries, some raw blueberries there. And manage the fuel. I've got some sticks. Drag and drop it there. Ignite the fire. And now the fire is burning. I'll be able to craft. I can only craft one, but... I've crafted some food. That is cooking in my campfire. And now I can press E to collect the items. There we go. I've got some roasted berries. So if you've played any survival games, um, you got some screen tear, have you? Let's see. I'm not seeing any screen tear on my um, on my end. Apologies. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Graphics. Let's see. Enable V-Sync. There we go. Let's apply that. Uh, hopefully that has sorted that out. I wasn't seeing any screen tear on my monitor, so I didn't check on the screen. Uh, anyway, we've got some cooked berries now. So now I need to eat them. That's the kind of quest I like. Eat food. So now Puck is back. Oh, you've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. I never From avoid embarrassment. I'm sorry. Your meal was no summer court banquet, but at least you persist. We must carry... The portal stands nearby. All right, so basically he's telling me, he just told me there that don't run in the fire, is what he told me. Now he's telling me that there is a portal ready to go to the next 
tutorial round. Hello. Oh, you can kill those and eat them. You can survive off berries if you're a vegetarian. My friend Tom that uh, works with me at Eurogamer, he's a vegetarian. He's such a strict vegetarian that when he plays Minecraft and stuff, he plays as a vegetarian. So, you know, doesn't doesn't kill animals or anything. Okay, so we've got two new biome cards here. Or we've got a biome card and a major card even. The desert card is going to get us a dry arid desert. And the byway card again, just a small transient realm. So nice and chill again. Use that machine to open the portal. And here we go. Let's step through. Oh dear, Ian's found fast food, says demons must die. Haha, <laughs> nice. Excellent pun. Excellent pun there. And in fact, if you're a fan of my puns, over on the um the just about nightingale page, which you can get links to in the video description below. Um, underneath the Platform 32 bounty, underneath all these bounties, you can comment, you can reply. Uh, you can create a nice community. And there are... Um, ah, oh, here we go. See, I already got something wrong. I said... I said that five people could win $25, but it's up to $25. First place gets $25, and then it reduces by five dollars or ten dollars then five dollars a place so apologies for that um join the conversation wait oh is it because i'm not signed in oh bloody hell i'm not signed in on this one Ooh. underneath these i don't want to put in my login details live on stream um and <laughs> underneath these if you log in if you create account and log in you'll see comments that you can thumbs up, you can do laugh emojis too, you can like and stuff. I did a couple of puns based on wooden stone and then kicked off a, a punathon in the comments. Uh, thanks for putting the link in YouTube and Twitch, Nightcap. So, uh, yes. Big fan of puns, as you know. So here we go. Here's the desert realm. And here's Puck. Summer runs through my being blood runs through yours oh. yet I've seen that dew men call sweat flow like rivers in our deserts he's got a lovely this voice but what? he does talk a lot all right first mission we need to build a stick tent so let's open up the um, guidebook find out what we need so I can track this here and that will now put those items that I need 12 sticks and six plant fiber up on the right hand side of the screen like so so now I just need to run around and find some plant fibers so in this game it helps to just run around spamming E occasionally at the start when you don't really know what you're looking for as you'll notice though I'm getting hot oh look at this creepy tree creature thing look at that I'm getting hot, which will affect my performance. But once I stand in shade, like I'm doing right now, the heat will reduce. Uh, in this game, you can get umbrellas, which act as flotation devices to help you glide down from big jumps, Mary Poppins style. But they also protect you against weather effects like hail or rain, or um, they act as a parasol to help you manage the heat as well so i've got 10 sticks plant fibers that's i've got a lot of sticks but i still need a few plant fibers by the looks of things that's not plant fibers what is a plant fiber when it's at home then i think i'm gonna have to keep searching these look like that looks like that would be a plant fiber oh no that's a stick going and try not to overheat do 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 oh was that something no it wasn't a plant fiber maybe we'll find something over here what was that that was some sticks well i've got plenty of sticks
These little robots here, I'm not 100% sure what they do. I think they harvest stuff, but they are, um, they seem to, uh, they seem to be benign. They're not trying to hurt me or anything. Here we go. Found a little oasis. Got some plant fibers from down here, I'm sure. There we go. Straight away. Six plant fibers. <laughs> Thanks, Georgine Herdman. Meet Merp. Um, all right. So, I've got my tent. I've got everything I need for it. So, I just need to find a nice, nice little clearing to place it. Let's pop it down there. Close that and press E to auto add the resources. There we go. We got ourselves a tent. Look at that. Check it out. I'm in the shade. They're not trying to hurt you yet, says John O'Neill. You, uh, No, not yet, but I'm sure I'll do something to annoy him. And yes, you can become encumbered. Uh, if you are encumbered, you uh, you know it drains your stamina faster. Um, I think it affects the rate your health recharges and things like that. So you definitely don't want to become encumbered. You can craft backpacks and things which allow you to carry more stuff, but that's a little bit later on in the game. Uh, let's go back to just about quickly and just see what other bounties are available on the site. So it's not just the Platform 32 guest bounty. Um, but oh, oh, as we can see, 20 seconds ago, a new bounty submission has happened. So um, there was a bounty in uh, film and TV for which upcoming show you're most looking forward to watching. Tell us for $2. So here you go. There's looks like there's uh, five days on that. There are twenty-two dollar prizes available for this, I think. And the ones that are judged, the favourites by the Just About team, will be the ones that win those two dollars. So a small, a small reward there. But the more you interact, the more uh, you stand to to earn. For instance, if you think about it, the Platform 32 community on Discord, I know there are some of you on there that chat on that all the time. Think about that, but chatting on Platform 32 all the time, but occasionally you could earn some money doing it. It's kind of like that. That's kind of the community that uh, just about wants to bring. But yeah, bounties wise, um, I only showed off two, but there's other ones. Send a screenshot of your first base for $5. There's 12 available, so if you make a really nice base, you could attach your socials to uh, just about, and then uh, you, you stand a chance of winning five dollars. Uh, you can attach PayPal and stuff to it, so it just gets paid straight into there. Uh, share your Nightingale hot takes and first impressions. So if you're like a budding games journalist, for instance, you can type in there what you think of it, give it a review, tell us why you've decided to play Nightingale. What's the first thing you want to do in Nightingale? This is closed, so 25 people have already um, have already uh, won a $1 bounty. But because I'm not signed in, <laughs> I can't see that. Whoops. Oh, I'm such a failure at everything. But yeah, this is... Oh. This is the one you want to. Uh, this is the one you want to. You want to take part in the platform thirty-two guest bounty. I don't know. Just about platform. Yeah, just about platform thirty-two. Exactly, exactly. Just about. There we go. See, but just. Uh, I don't know. Just about. Well, am I the first guest bounty? Thank you very much. If I am, I'm not sure though. Anyway, I'm starving. I better go and find some food because. Um, I will starve to death. I did starve to death in this game before. I don't know if there's any food here on this area. Do I have... Uh, I don't have any food on me. I may starve to death. Not too bad if you die in this game. It does that thing that happens in Valheim and other survival games where um, you die, you respawn at your bedroll or where you started, and then you can make your way back to where you fell. And you can pick up all your items from your backpack. That, yeah, I am definitely starving to death, friends. That's what I get for talking too much. So, what am I doing? I'm trying to build a bed roll. 
resting. I've got everything I need already, so I don't need to track those items. So I'm going to place the bedroll. I'm going to close it. I'm going to rest. And I don't know, resting uh, gives you buffs depending on the comfort level of your bed. Um, there's lots of, lots of different custom levels and things affect your health and stamina regeneration. I'm not going to read it, so I'm, I'll never understand it. Resting me requires a minimum comfort level. Yes, it does. So let's have a short rest. There we go. We're having a short rest. That's probably not going to help me stop starving to death. But I did manage to rest properly, so I can now begin my new uh, quests, which are craft, a wood axe, mining pick, hunting knife, sickle, and a torch. So again, we can go into crafting, and I think it's... Where, where do these go? Crafting, here we go. So building, these are building blocks, and then the crafting stuff are tools. So rock sticks and plant fiber, rock sticks and plant fiber, rock sticks and plant fiber, sticks and plant fiber, rock sticks and plant fiber. So I've just got to go around and gather as much stuff as I can before I die and then um, respawn and come back to my bag. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe I won't starve to death in the tutorial realm. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll be kind and give you a little bit of leeway in the tutorial realm. I'm getting lots of plants and sticks, but my rocks are fairly... Well, I don't have any rocks at the moment. I love those creepy... Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, I thought it was a tree. I love these creepy tree things. A lot of the monsters and the um, creatures in this game are very, very well designed. In that Eurogamer video I did with uh, Zoe, the Let's Play, you can see loads of weird creatures in there, including giants and massive beetles. And Ooh, what's this? A Hope Echo. So there's these little lore drops that you can find around. Not going to read it. Never learnt, never learnt how to read. Just like the pictures. I definitely think I need some rocks. My audio's gone all wibbly because I'm... Oh. Because I'm starving. Yeah, I don't see any berries around at all. Is there anything I can craft yet? Let's have a look. Makeshift items. Oh, yeah. Guess I've got some rocks already. So let's craft a hunting knife. Let's craft a mining pick. Oh, now I'm out of rocks. So now I need to get some more rocks. But I can craft a torch. So I need need to find six more rocks, basically. Now join just about. Def, see, def I see what I can earn, says Demons Must Die. Nice. Well, if you're thinking about getting this game, try out the Platform 32 Guest Bounty. Once I get to the Respite Realm, I will uh, I'll give it a go. This game takes a little while to get going, which is why I said, um, which is why I specified using wood and stone only to build the structure with. But once you start making portals and, and going to realms that you've created yourself using cards, it's really awesome. Okay, so I didn't do the sickle, did I? I want to craft a sickle, and I want to craft a wood axe. There we go. And it has Puck. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still, I expected more. You'll need better woodworking skills than that I'm when great we at reach our the destination what? proper. It affords the path let us depart, okay. and speak of your ill-favored constructs no more. One final byway of muck and mire. I think we're going to the swamp biome, if he says muck and mire. Hey to first-time chatter, SF Boomer J. Says, doesn't sound like the most nutritious meal. I think he must be talking about my roasted berries from earlier. Yes. 
Uh, welcome to everyone joining, by the way. We've got Nightcat, Jamie, ICT, Dragon Botherer, Hot Wings, Dip. Oh, nice. I, uh, Dragon Brother, Jamie, ICT, uh, Samantha, MB, Gavin. Oh, Hot, time, Hot Wings Dip was a first-time chatter as well. Oh, Hot Wings Dip says, hello, hello, I'm from the Just About team. If there's any questions over here on Twitch, ask away. There we go. Okay, so if you're on Twitch and you want any questions answered about Just About on Twitch, on youtube.com forward slash platform 32, give it a follow, why don't you? Um, head on over there and uh, ask Hot Wings Dip their questions. Um, so, yeah, hello to everyone watching on Twitch. On the next loading screen, I'll give a shout out to everyone commenting on YouTube because it looks like there's quite a lot of you watching at the moment. Where's the portal? It's in the water, isn't it? I made this mistake when I played it on preview. Oh, God. It was in the water. Yeah, there it is. It's this round gateway here that I was right next to and then completely ignored. So a little bit wet now, but there you go. Swamp biome card. And then the um, the byway card as well. So swamp card, swamp and more. Now the swamp has poison floor in it. So it's a little bit like... Another one of those things. A little bit like that. Uh, oh god, it's I'm completely lost. It skipped my mind now. Dark Souls, that place in Dark Souls with the poison floor. Um, it's like that kind of, but not built underneath a bridge. Right, where's my participants? There we go. I'm moving very slowly now because I'm starving. I think. Oh, and also because I was wet. Hello to Ash, our Otto, Bad Sniper, California, R13, Claire, T-Rex, DCZ0209, Demons Must Die, Doug, the first Pro Gamer, Ember, I, Gavin, UK, 6, Georgina, Herdman, Me, Merp, Inspired Zombie, Just About, Kirsty Hands, Nightcap, Princess Woosh, Santo Atheist, Silver Salamence, and Thomas, Black Flame. Welcome to everyone watching. Hey to everyone chatting. And thanks once again to JustAbout.com, Just About Nightingale, the Nightingale, the Nightingale community in Just About sponsoring today's stream and uh, Thursday as well. I'm going to be playing more of this on Thursday, um, sponsored by Nightingale as well. So uh, let's continue my journey. And here we are. Now the floor may be poisonous, but there's a beauty to this world. Oh, bloody hell. Where'd you come from? If not for Astaroth's decree... This trip hey, has been as easy as peach pie. <laughs> we Fey are forbidden from consorting with your kind. Oh, and while so my can't amity you. is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. Okay. Bound. While I know man's impulse. Once this fen is... Mm -hmm. So, I need to gather useful resources from a slain creature now. Thankfully, I have a knife. I have an axe and stuff as well. But I need to uh I need to find a creature. A tier one predator to be precise. I need to shank it. I need to give it a damn good stabbing. Uh that could end up with me dying, but it'll be good because at least the game will stop having the, the nearly dead effect. So I've got not enough stamina now. My stamina runs out really quickly because I'm I'm hungry. Oh, I killed it. So now, stab it again. And as you'll see, meat and hide is falling off it. So we've got tier one uh, predator meat. But I don't think it dropped any bones. Oh, no, it did. So I need to. it looks like I need to kill three more of those weird rat bunny things. Keep an eye out for some berries as well. Just in case. I mean, maybe I can eat some raw meat. Oh! There we go. Dead. No worries. Memento Mori. Oh no, Claire T-Rex has parents evening until 7pm on Thursday. No, you'll miss the first hour of the stream. Okay, so there we go. That's where I died. Helpfully, right in front of me. Oh. 
Because I've got now, I've got nothing. Um, it says that. That is a massive bone. That's what she said. Um, yeah. Oh, I lost all of the stuff I was holding. But it is over here. So I just need to go back and get it. Is this, is this the stuff that poisons me? Yeah, there you go. Get disease from the water in, in the swamp land. So you want to be out of the water as much as possible in the swamp land. Unless, unless you like diseases. I don't think they're useful to have. Though. Wee! Dodged it. Dodged it. Backstab. Come here. And then we'll cut away again. And there's some meat. There's the bone. Two bones, two meat. And then hopefully in here, if I take all items, there you go. I've got it. I've got everything. And now I need to craft a makeshift capelet. I don't know what one of them is. Let's find out, shall we? A capelet. Ah, it's a little bit of armor. I can do that with hide and plant fiber. Luckily, I already have the hide and plant fiber needed. So I can craft that. And I might need to put it on. Yeah, there it is. So at the moment, my starting gear. Oh, say hello to Jimmy Spices, by the way. My um, wonderful soldier man. Uh, his starting gear is six. But this capelet I've just made is ten gear. So that's kind of stripped him down to his undercrackers a bit. But now I should be slightly more armoured. Okay, so I've prepared the armour, but I also need to prepare some healing salve and some roasted meat. So if I want to get some roasted meat, I'm going to have to do a fire. Hello, are you going to fight me? No, I think it's ignoring me. So we want to go to the... Uh-oh. Yeah, no, it wants to fight me. All right, you're just going to end up on my dinner plate, buddy. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. Look at his little face. Oh, he, he faded away. He did a, he did a Yoda. All right, so uh, we want to build a fire, which will be basics. I've got the rocks needed, so I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to put my stuff in. I'm, I want to make healing salve, don't I? And roasted meat. So we want to put bones in there. I've got tier one predator bones and plant fiber in there. And I need to put some fuel in as well. Let's, uh, let's just chuck some sticks in there. That should keep it burning. That'll keep it burning for 12 minutes. Now, craft three healing salves, like so. And roasted meat. I'll put some uh, meat in there. I can actually craft six of those. I think I need to wait until this has crafted everything. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Six and craft. This is going to cook me six meats. Oh, yeah. Cape Winslet says just about. I'm so glad just about a fans of puns because Rupert the owner was like Ian pop into the uh, pop into the the guest bounty page and leave a comment and so of course I chucked out some cheesy puns and then I was like oh no they're going to think I'm a bell end they probably do anyway but <laughs> they're also fans of puns so that's good for me I hope this appears on console someday says Evil Plankton I hope we grow on console a lot of games do come to console um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of menus and things which mean using a controller for it will get a bit complex at times but if you can play PUBG with a controller on console then I think you can play anything with a controller on, 
on console. Oof, going to starve before the meat finishes, says Inspired Zombie. Yes, maybe. I, it's, it's, I'm starting to look a bit hungry, aren't I? Six, five. My health is down to five now. Wait, I've got some berries. I could just eat some raw berries. Oh, that made a bad noise. So I just eat some gross berries. Well, that doesn't sound like good berries that I'm eating there. It's okay, though. I should... Uh, if I hold for more options, can I collect what's there already? There we go. Should have collected some meat. There we go. It's on number eight. Let's eat some meat. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm healing back up again now. I'm no longer hungry. And hopefully the red mist from around my vision will start clearing. Oh, I need to acquire... Did I not make enough healing salve? I thought I... Um, I thought I crafted three, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Looks like I might need to uh, get another bone. Healing salve. Craft. Okay. Yeah. I need to go and get another bone from somewhere. One that got Aggie with me over there didn't drop one. Okay. There you go. Bone delivery service. No comment. Okay, there's a bone. Let's go back to the campfire. Where is it? There it is. Oh. And craft a final healing sound. Nice and quick, the healing salves. And I got it. There we go. Okay. Extract vital essence dust from items in your inventory. Now, essence dust is used, from what I remember from the preview, essence dust is used as a Sami currency. So, um, rocks are a good thing for essence dust. Uh, they extract, you can see actually, um, just where it says extract into. I can't move the mouse to point at it because it goes away. Wait, I could move me to point at it. See there? It says extract into essence dust. That's um, what you want to do. So extract. That gets me 25 essence dust. Oh, there you go. Look, there's 95 essence dust actually. How much essence dust does it want me to have? Use essence dust to restore. Oh, yes, you use it to um, repair as well. So if I go back to my inventory, go to essences, you can see they've got 120 essences there. Go to my backpack, I can just simply cost, click repair all. And that will cost 36 essences. There we go. And Puck, Puck's here, he's happy. You've stolen life. Well, I don't know if he's happy, to be honest. A necessity, lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men. In all like seriousness, I'm digging the artistic lion. direction, says Gaming W Geezers. Yeah, as I said, um, now, Zoe and I were blown away by I've the visuals in our Eurogamer preview. It's through very bog, pretty. Through bush, through First, you must oblige your inner essence. And choose the landscape that beckons. Where do I want to live? Ah, is basically what he's asking. No need I don't really want to live in a poison swamp. No I don't want to live in hot desert. So I'm going to imagine myself the a lovely forest. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. The bound are the Crack bad guys. Their pitiable little skulls. And we'll see them soon. For I am about to open a portal um, to my respite realm. The respite realm is where 
the uh, just about Nightingale Platform 32 guest bounty is set. So that's where you're going to need to go to uh, build your structure. I mean, you know, technically you could build it anywhere, but it's best to build it in the Respite Realm because um, it takes a while to get out of the Respite Realm and also there's no uh, no bad things running around that will kill you. Your Respite Realm is like your home, um, home realm. Everyone gets a Respite Realm. Each Respite Realm is slightly different because they're procedurally generated. And what you build on it is up to you. You can invite your friends to the Respite Realm. You can even give your friends cards to your Respite Realm so they can visit your Respite Realm whenever they want from their own Respite Realm by putting your Respite Realm card into this machine. Now, I'm playing the Forest card and my Abeyance card. is a, a, a realm of minimal danger suitable for construction of an estate, a.k.a. The Respite Realm. So let's open the portal, and I believe this will summon some bad things. Remain vigilant. And I've already got this thing coming out to get me. So the bound are kind of like S and M, S and M goblins. <laughs> They're like the main enemy faction in this game that protect like fate hours and stuff, but there's plenty of things to fight and then um, harvest in this game. So there's only three that I had to deal with there, but later on in the game there'll be more hordes will come out. Oh no, here comes some more. Bow, bow, bow. Oh gosh! I'm right, gonna eat my food. Get a little bit of healing on. The stamina is pretty low as well, I think. Oh no! What's my healing bar salve? Is it nine? Is that the healing salve? I don't really know. Yes, nine is the healing salve. Ah! Oh, I think I just lopped a leg off. Or was it just his clothes fell off? Either way, this seems like a better weapon than the knife I was using. What's the safe world says Gavin? Lol. <laughs> okay. Venture into an abeyance realm. Realm Walker. Your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. Okay then. So that was the tutorial areas of Nightingale. There are still tutorials through this next section, but it's a little bit freer now. They remind me of the enemies in Jericho, says Gavin, if anyone remembers that 360-era shooter. I played that in Terraflops. So, let's have a look at the world what I have created, or that has been gifted to me. It's pretty beautiful. Oh, is that Puck making a noise? We've got, we've got a couple of good views here. Well... Got a big area of water there. There's Puck. Ah, we made it. We certainly did. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. Well, I thank you. Boop, boop, boop. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey. Left in limbo, to put down roots. but yeah. beware. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Uh -oh. Laying foundations while you play carpenter. There are nooks in these surrounding wilds. I must... Right, so, what I need to do now is build an estate cairn. 
and that will allow me to claim a plot of land as my own, which if you... Um, it's kind of like in Valheim where you can put down a totemy thing and then enemies... Is it enemies or other players can't attack it? Mm, I think it might be other players. In this, it's enemies. If you, if you put down the cairn, enemies won't be able to attack your structure for a certain radius. But look at this. There's like looks like there's some kind of pirate ship in the forest over there. We've got like a crazy Lord of the Rings style uh, castle popping up over there. Beautiful water. But what is what do I need for an estate can? Stone blocks and some rocks. Now stone blocks are made with. Uh, Here's the pickaxe. So hitting the pickaxe will give me stone blocks. Actually, let's bring up my build menu again. Let's track this stuff. So I've got three rocks and four stone blocks at the moment. So they all break up nice and satisfyingly. Fairly quickly as well, which is good. I get impatient when I have to whack things for too long. Oh, I've got everything I need already. Nice. Now I just need to find a nice area to build my base. I mean, this is... Whoa. Is this thing alive? Is it a ghost? Hello? 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 Has it got a butthole? It's got a glittery butthole. I think I might... Well, it's a nice little clearing, isn't it? There's... Look down there. I could, I could build a, a base on that, maybe. I could build a base down here. I could build a base down there. I think for the sake of brevity, I'll just build it here though. Let's place my cairn down just there. Uh, what did it say what it was then? Did it from human from human influences reduces it so it reduces the aggressive creatures nearby. It doesn't fully stop them then maybe. Placing your estate cane marks a, spa a safe space to build your estate. There we go. Okay, let's speak. Your tenacity time. overrules the gusts of fate. And this fay you have pleased. Oh, good. Finally pleased. Settled someone. here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. Requiring the unending lure humankind so fortunately both are close at hand. And here is the no- There are many sites. You must first. Their gates bar oh. access to those unworthy. Ah, oh, probably said something important there. But I never know. So, I need to unlock the antiquarian site of power next. And the antiquarian site of power is what is going to allow me to start um, getting cars to travel to different routes, to create different routes to travel to, basically. Uh, to do that takes a little while. You need to get your gear level up to 20. Mine, unfortunately, is only 6 at the moment. So this is where you learn the basics. You, this is where, you, you know, you, the basics become second nature to you, I guess, as you start to build up a base, etc. And this is the area where, let me just remind you, this is the area where they're just about... Um, Platform 32 guest at bounty is uh, is where it's set basically. This is where you want to go. This this first zone, this respite realm, or whatever they call it now. They called it something different um, in this. Well, they used to call it respite realms. So I think they might have changed the name. Anyway, it's in this area where you want to build a tall, impressive structure. Out of basic wood and stone building blocks. And I know what you're thinking. Ian, 
when you say it's all an impressive structure, are you going to build a building that looks like a penis? Would I do something like that? Maybe. Oh. Oh. Hashtag 420 Blazer. Guess we won't be getting any building done after all. Uh, right, well, let's get some resources anyway. Yum, 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 yum. Get in loads of stuff. Get me some fibers and things at the moment. Actually, let's look at my build menu. So here we've got some crude foundations. These are the building blocks that you'll want to be doing your challenge. <laughs> Everyone's uh, agreeing, saying that they knew what I was uh, implying with my big structure thing in the comments. Sorry. Uh, abeyance zone. That's it, Gaming W Geezer. Okay, abeyance zone. Hmm. Well, is that a glory hole? So yeah, these are the structures that you'll want to be building your struct. These are the building blocks, even the foundations and the walls and stuff that you'll want to be building your magnificent structure out of your tall erection, your um, girthy monolith, whatever you want to call it. You want to be using these things to build it. And then once you've joined just about and you've linked your uh, socials, you then upload a video or a screenshot on Twitter or X or whatever it's called. And there's there's various platforms you can connect it to, and then you just wait until the time runs out and see if you uh, see if you get judged the winner. You got nine days to do it. Uh, so yeah, let's make ourselves. Have we got wood foundation. Oh, maybe we can make a a stone foundation. I'll need stone blocks well i've got seven i've got enough to make one of these so far i'll make it near my can and i'll give it a little rotate let's put it there whoa Oi. listen i didn't want to i didn't want to start a fight i'm going to kill a pig you started a fight buddy hey what the unbelievable I've turned up here to my abeyance realm, or whatever it's called now. And these pigs are all like, get off my land! Or, alternatively, uh, this was uh, Nightingale's version of Uber Eats, and I just got some delicious bacon delivered straight to my door. How uh, can I? There is a way, and I can't remember how to do it, but there is a button I can press, I think, which allows me to pick things up and move it. E, hold some more. Mm. Well, I'll call it Jimmy Spices. How many, how many uh, letters can I have? Palace of Delights? Oh. I'll just call it Jimmy Spices then. There we go. It's Jimmy. That's my recipe. Yeah, it's my recipe. Okay, so let's put the blocks down there. So there we go. We've got our first foundation. X to enter build mode. There it is. So now I should be in build mo mode. Now I can move it and I can place it nice and flat there fell down and opened up my menu. So there we go. This is the start of my structure. But I need a lot of stone. So let's head down to the water's edge. Oh, what was building mode? What was exit? There we go. Let's head down. Thanks to Ian, I discovered a whole Wikipedia article about phallic architecture, says Santo Atheus. Are you... I mean... That's fair play. If you want to use, if you want to use real life inspiration to come on to justabout.com 
and enter the Platform 32 guest bounty and create a, a, a phallic monument out of wood and stone in order to try and win that, that bounty, then I think that's fair play. In fact, that's showing initiative. Got to admire a bit of initiative. Clong, clong, clong. This is, this is the kind of the part of survival games that I find quite zen. Just the wandering around, harvesting stuff. Oh, here we go. Someone asked earlier if you can get over-encumbered. I am currently over-encumbered. I'm weighed down by my inventory. Who said you don't learn anything from P32 in video games since LaCroix Boy Marks? I mean, mainly you learn swear words from this channel, but... There we go. Phallic monuments are probably still bounty eligible, says just about. There we go. Just probably, see? As long as they're not too graphic. You know. Keep them arty, kids. <laughs> Right, what are we doing? Crude stone foundation. Track. No, we just want a place. So these will lock on to each other. And I can place multiple ones of these without having the resources needed to necessarily fill them out. So you can... Ooh, so you can, um, how do I get rid of deconstruct? I think I have to go into, I think I have to go here into the building mode and then press V to remove that. So yeah, you can, you can plan out your building and see what it'll look like and then run backwards and forwards to add the resources. So I've auto added enough resources to do two of these but I still need to get a bunch more to fill out the base properly like. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, so let's uh, close that. And go mining again. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, these kind of blocks are the ones you can smash. I don't know if hitting these bigger ones does anything. It doesn't look like it. I've got a lot of little stones, but I don't know. I think it's just big stones that I need for the stone. It is just stone blocks. So, I can probably get rid of a lot of the little stones in my inventory. They're probably weighing me down a bit. So let's extract those. So instead of having to like lob them on the floor and just leave you know them littering the ground like you kind of do in stuff like Valheim and stuff here, anything you don't want you can actually turn it into a very useful resource which is cool. Oh, I really like that mechanic, says the Fire Boy Marks. Yeah, it's clever. It's a, it's a good way to not have how to play wet. It's good for people like me who hate throwing their stuff on the floor in video games and then like it just being untidy on the floor for ages. In Valheim, we used to um, dig a hole and we created like a rubbish pit. This way, it's just it's just nice. Kevin says, "Ian, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be professional." I don't. I, I, never, I haven't been professional when I worked at Eurogamer either. So, when working at Eurogamer, even so. do 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 do. Yeah, don't worry. 
sponsored, uh, sponsored or not, I'll still be the same immature idiot that you all <laughs> have liked and subscribed for. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, I've been going for an hour now, so I'll just give you all, uh, if there's any new viewers, just a reminder uh, that this, uh, this stream of Nightingale is sponsored by JustAbout.com. I've got a guest bounty on JustAbout.com, which um, is a mechanic on that platform, which allows members of the site to enter into challenges for which they can win a financial prize. And the more you interact with the communities, and the nicer you are, and the more engaging you are, um, the more chance you stand to win a bit of cash. So it's it basically it's a, it. Can I get any more of that now? Because I'm knackered. No. Um, in a nutshell, it, it basically rewards creativity and positivity, which is what initially made me think it was really nice because there's a lot of dark places on the internet um, and if there's a if there's a place that's cultivating positivity and creativity um, you know that's going to be a nicer place to hang out than anywhere even if there wasn't a financial award here and there right I've made a base a, a bottom of my my structure and I need I guess need to start making it Towery. Um, I'm just wondering how, what kind of tower I'm gonna. Am I gonna make a spiral or like a point? If I make a pointed one, it's not gonna go very high. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what. What I will need to do. I'm gonna need to make some shelter soon. Let's get some... I think it's starting to rain, isn't it? Yeah, let's get me some shelter, build myself a bed and things. Because one thing I did when I was playing the preview um, that you can do that's really useful, and it'll, be, it'll come in very useful if you're planning on attempting this challenge, is you can recruit a follower. And that follower will wander around and they'll protect you, they'll revive you in battles and stuff. But if you give them a tool, like if I was to give them this axe that I have now, they would, on their own, they would start wandering around, cutting down trees and gathering wood like this. And then you can go and talk to them, go in their inventory and grab all the wood that they've uh, they've harvested uh, and then use it on your own base. So it's a nice little tool for uh, extra harvesting, basically. So we want to go to the build menu. Uh, first of all, I'm going to build some crude wooden stairs. And I'm going to place them. Rotate. How do I rotate a potato? There you go. I'm going to place them there. So that's going to be the start of whatever towery type thing I'm going to make. I want to go back to the build menu now, though. And I want to put a crude flat roof. Oh, did I not do that? No. Build. Crude flat roof. Place. Can I place it there? I might need to put resources and walls down first, you know. There's the stairs. Let's put a couple of walls down. I'm being weighed down by my inventory, so... Let's build a couple of stone walls. Thinking too hard and pressing the wrong buttons. So let's build one there. Let's build one there. Now let's see if I can get a roof on it. Crude roof, crude upper floor. Oh, crude upper floor. Crude upper floor stone. Oh, every time. I keep escaping out of it. You have to press place. There we go. Okay. 
So, now let's escape out of it. Uh, auto. Now I'm under shelter, so you'll see that I am no longer getting soggy. Do, 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 do. A lot of times content creators have to be well behaved for brand deal content, so seeing Ian still being an immature idiot despite as such is a nice thing to see. <laughs> says uh, Silver Salamence. Just about says it's all part of the appeal. I've made myself some nice little windows, look. It's lashing it down outside, but I'm fairly um, fairly dry under here. So let's now bring up my uh, resting. So I've got a bur built a simple tent, but I don't need to now. I've got myself a little stone structure. And I've had the resources. Let's hold, let's press E for a short rest. I don't think I need one, do I? We have a short rest. Yeah, I don't think I need one. But that has that'll be where I spawn now anyway. So this game sometimes it starts hailing, and when it hails, you get uh, you get damage. It actually hurts you the hailstones, which is why you need to get yourself a nice little uh, uh, umbrella as soon as possible. I'm going to put storage crate here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to open the storage crate. So I've got a lot of things here. I've got a lot of food and resources. I'm going to put the jacket in there. I don't really need the jacket. Wood bundle. That's crude, crude sandstone blocks. I've got 11 of them. So let's continue. Let's make a couple more. That's crude wool stone. So let's go one here, one here, and one here. What I'm, I want to do is build like a complete wall around here. So lay out the foundations like so. And then a big roof over the top of here. So I'm going to have all my living quarters uh, and all my equipment down here. I'm getting hailed on there. You see the hail bouncing off the floor? You hear me taking damage? And then on top of it all is w my structure. So it's going to be a it's going to be a magnificent structure that also has uh, a nice living space in. I mean, you could be different to me. You could make uh, the ground floor like loads of foundations and have a penthouse suite on the top of it. You make it look like the Sky Needle or, or whatever. It's up to you. Just uh, share. Just join JustAbout.com uh, and join the Just About Nightingale channel. And then, uh, you know, submit submit your final build, and we can see. So it says return to Puck, but uh, I'm gonna, it's going to hurt me. Oh, I need way more stone blocks. What are you saying, Puck? How far you've come. Yes, I have. And yet how little. Across these wilds, ah, your okay. kind have proliferated with haste. Industrious and more than willing to avail amidst your ever growing need. Blah, blah, blah. So, oh, shit. I think I just stabbed him. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I hurt the wall a bit. Uh, essence traders are basically traders, but they the currency is essence. But when you go over and see the essence trader, you get to do something which gets you uh, that follower that I was talking about earlier. Probably want to wait until it's stopped hailing and raining, though. So while I'm waiting for that to happen, do I have enough uh, to build um, another? Oh. Stopping raining? No. Just wondering about whether or not I'll get smoke inhalation from doing this but I don't think that's a, a thing in this game okay I don't have enough stone blocks left I'm gonna build a, a fire that'll be survival would it no uh, basics and repair it's in campfire simple tanning station okay so I'm gonna place a campfire here see that green line going towards it that green line just means, I think, 
that if the campfire is close enough to that bed, when I'm resting on that bed, I'll get additional bonuses. Uh, like buffs and things. So let's roast some meat. I've got four of those. Let's manage the fuel. Put some sticks in there. I'll ignite it. And then let's do the maximum. Let's get that meat cooking. And while that meat's cooking, I'm going to go and get some more stone. And um, I won't. I won't do too much more. This is where I could just sit here and get addicted to just wandering around. Wait, is it broken? Oh, that that's the wrong, it was the wrong tool. Wandering around building stuff. And once you get, once I get into the zone. I could just do that for ages, but it won't be too interesting for you, just me pickaxing, pickaxing rocks. But what I will do in a second is go and check out the essence trader, or at least try and find out where they are, because I seem to, from what I remember when I played the preview build, doesn't really signpost where they are until you get close to them. You have to go on a bit of a search. They're normally by a big structure, so I think my first port of call will be over there. Maybe I'll swing by the pirate ship and see what that's all about. But yeah, when this uh, this area that I'm in now completely different to the area that I procedurally generated in the preview build. There was loads of like broken stone monuments and weird stone wagon wheels and cogs everywhere. And yeah, there didn't seem to be any of them, but there's floating rocks and a pirate ship. Which is pretty crazy. Thanks for thumbing up the video, GPod71. If you're enjoying the stream and you're finding it useful, do give it a thumbs up. Um, is it making you... Uh, oh, oh, balls. Oh, okay, because these are all joined. So I'm learning stuff as well at the moment. Because this is all joined together, even though I put on there, I think it fills it up in order that you've built it, basically. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, if this if this stream is, is helping you decide whether you do or don't want to buy Nightingale, maybe uh, maybe you think after watching this, it might be one to put on a wish list. Maybe you're downloading it. Maybe you've seen this and you're downloading it now. Or maybe you're just curious and you haven't made your mind up yet. If this video is helping you at all, do give it a thumbs up. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you really feel like it, you can subscribe to Platform32 on YouTube or follow me on Twitch. The choice is there. You can watch on Whatever platform you like. Until Twitch tell me I shouldn't be doing it. I have to stop. Okay. Num, num, num. Hey, Dougie. Do you have to build chimneys like Valheim, says Dougie? That is what I'm testing at the moment. I'm thinking I might not I um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking of building my structure, like building like a natural kind of chimney in my structure. I think rather than having a roof over the top of my fire, I think I might alter my building slightly. But first, I'll need to uh, erase that building block. So if I get, so if, let's go X to the building thing and V remove this. And then if I was to, how's this going to work? I want to build kind of like... I want to build a kind of ventilation area. So if I place that there, and then that there, can I place one? Hmm. I don't 
don't seem to be able to place one across here yet. What have I got? A doorway or something? Oh yeah, here you go. Crude doorway stone. So if I place a crude doorway here, and then I place another window thing there, and I'm weighed down by inventory, so I can't press that there, but I can. So then, if I now put a roof on it there, and build another, can I make a, oh, I can make a, sta a stone staircase. So what i got there now is like, when I've got enough uh, blocks to build it, the smoke will go up here and hopefully out of those windows rather than congealing in my building. So that's there you go, fill up. Okay, I need more stone blocks. So let's actually uh, go into my building menu again and move this with R. I'm just going to put it at the corner there so it doesn't block doesn't block my walkway through into my main area. I may move this out of the way too and put it in the corner because you get lots of different work start like actually I'll show you um, basics. You get a workbench you get a tanning station so I need some more wood bundles for this workbench but if I start setting up my workstations along this wall then I can put my tanning station oh, my tanning station there I've put some things on there plant fiber sticks and some more wood bundles for those and just like other survival games you know once I've crafted these, that'll give me options to then uh, craft more things. Uh, what was it? Sticks and plant fiber. Let's go grabby, grabby, grabby. Grabby sticks. So, actually, I do need to go to the Essence Trader for a mission, which is to unlock a simple sewing bench. Oh, let's get out of the build menu. Get myself an axe again. Ian getting his feng shui on, says Ross T. I certainly am. I want to make sure I'm living in a nice house. All the amenities I need, nice and close together. Well, this is a beefy tree. Should give me some good wood bundles when it finally comes down, though. Oh, here it comes. Timber! Which way is it falling? I don't know if it hurts you if it falls on you. I'm not going to test it. This is a big one. There you go. Some wood bundles there. I've probably picked up a fair few sticks and... Whoa. What's this? It's the, a carcass of a dead... A gigantic dead creature. I don't know if I can do anything with it, but find some mushrooms. It looks kind of cool. I'll have a bite to eat while I'm while I remember. Oh, I think I've got my the other stuff is in the in here still, right? Is it? Uh, collect items? No, I guess I collected it. Either that or it rotted away without me realizing. So. Auto add resources. Wait. Oh, I don't have enough bundle. I don't know. There we go. So the tanning station's done. So if I click on the tanning station, I can make felt, leather, and straps. 
with the hide I've got. So let's craft some of that. That'll go to work. It's being tanned, whatever that means. I need a little bit more wood. I don't have, I didn't go and get any, any rocks, so I can ignore that. Yeah, the wood bundles you get from cutting down trees. Providing me with some good birthday entertainment, says Gpod71. Happy birthday, Gpod71. Wait a minute. Is this actually coming down? Am I? Oh, I'm hitting it with the pickaxe, that's why. Silly me. There we go. Now I should have enough to craft a workbench. You see how uh, how kind of you know it's fairly easy to craft these structures, and even though the uh, the platform 32 just about bounty does involve just using wooden stone, all right, the 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 opportunity to build something huge and cool looking in this. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. I reckon there's lots of people are going to be able to get very creative with it. I'm sure. Building traits modify the function of certain structures, huh? A bedroll is more effective when in a warm, dry place. That was what that green light was. Line was. Both positive and negative traits. Benches grain gain the grit trait if they are built on bare ground. You can avoid this by placing benches on the foundation. That's what I did. Benches are exposed if they are built in sh areas where they are not sheltered. Well, that this one isn't sheltered yet. Realm walkers can also add positive traits such as light and warmth by building a campfire near a bench. Okay. I get you, I get you. So what's it's, what it's set? Oh, look at that beautiful. Are we on Tatooine? What it's telling me is that I need to build a roof over here, basically. I wonder if I could just build a simple wooden one for now just to keep these things dry. Oh, I need a stone block still. Oh, oh no, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of under there. Let's bring up my thing and just tuck it right in. Tuck them both right in. What do we want? It's R, isn't it? Not E. And then tuck it right up against it. There we go. And animal fiber. I make some animal. I can make some animal fiber with the meat I've got here. Whatever that means. I make one. What can we make on the simple workbench, though? We can make simple rock marble. We can make climbing picks to help climb better. Make a better hunting knife. Stone, wood, and straps. Oh, can I... Uh, I can make some straps. Let's make more straps. They sound like they're going to be useful. Cancelled that by accident. Okay. Think I'm auto getting that or have to press E on it. Okay, yeah, plus two straps. Craft item, so simple hunting knife. I've got the straps, but I need a wood and a stone block. What about the wood axe as well? Stone block and wood. Two straps. How many straps have I got? I've got six. Sling bow. Ooh, ranged attacks. Okay. I need to... I'm getting, car I'm getting carried away with the crafting. I need to go and find the essence trader. And on my way to find the essence trader, I'll get a few 
things that I need to craft those. I heard that, Gavin. It's again night time. Looks like it. So it's just as pretty at night time as it is at daytime, this game. Uh, wrong one again. There we go. Okay. Some stone blocks there. Hopefully that's enough to craft myself a nice knife and a nice axe later. So we're going to, yeah, we're on the lookout for an essence trader. Here's the map. This might show me. There's, so there's a portal. Oh, yeah, he will. Wilhelmina Sass. Although the essence trader is just underneath Wilhelmina Sass. And I think, you know, what's, I think that is the big, Realmic Transmuter. Consume minor realm cards. To, oh, the Realmic Transmuter. So we found one of those in the Eurogamer Let's Play. The Realmic Transmuter allows you to use realm cards to change the properties of realms you're already in. So if I had a, a card that gave me low gravity, I could add low gravity to this world and then like bounce around in low gravity. Uh, but that was over there, that big structure over there. We want to be going here. Can I place a marker? Uh, right mouse button. Add way marker. Uh, uh, star. Is that going to show on my... It didn't seem to... It didn't seem to show on my compass. Maybe there's a way to make it show on the compass, but I'm not sure. If there's a day-night cycle, it's quite long, says Botulin. I think there is a little bit of a day-night cycle. I mean, I... Oh, look, I need a strong axe. Whatever that is, I need a much stronger axe to harvest it. Well, it looks cool, right? Uh, yeah, I think there is a day-night cycle, but I'd, I much prefer games in the daylight. I've been playing a lot of Hell Divers too recently, service permitting, and I always try and pick the missions in the daytime. And I'm the same with other games. Like, if, if a game has a day-night cycle, I'm like, oh, I'll just keep it daytime, please. So hopefully the the um, the day-night cycle in here has lots of day and not much night. This sounds bad. Am I going in the right direction? Kind of. Kind of. Starting to regret not finding the essence trader before I built my building because it's fairly far away. I'm lazy. I haven't been able to craft myself a chauffeur-driven limo yet. Essex trader selling knockoff perfume by Christian Dorr. This is G-Pod. Essence! Essence trader! Here we go. I think I've found that area. This building here. Ooh, what that weird doorway up there. What is that? I don't know what that is. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. This building. Hey, hey, Emmett. So Emmett looks like someone that I might be able to recruit. He says, a nearby survivor needs your aim in completing a structure. Help them complete the structure for a reward. So this is the structure that Emmett wants me to complete. I don't have enough plant fiber and resources to finish the beds off. Had enough wood. I need to grab a bit more plant fiber. There's the essence trader. He's called Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. And there's also Wilhelmina Sass here. What are you saying? Ah, visitor, you're the only fine soul we've happened upon in this realm, and your appearance is a most welcome surprise. Who might you be? You're speaking with the realm walker extraordinaire, of course. Oh, of course, I should have seen it right away. A talented, well-travelled realm walker is just what I hoped to find. There are a great many new faces in the realms of late, with many a great story to tell. Collecting such stories is my trade, you see. What do you mean, a sass columnist for Nightingale's finest paper? Ah, the Sunday Courier. Overjoyed to make your acquaintance. Now, if you're in need of a more material services, nourishment, equipment, protection... 
I'm certain my companions here can provide. We've always time for a new customer. Uh, so we can have a chat with her. If we want. But I don't want to. I want to chat to uh, Nicholas here. Because we wanted to get a simple sewing bench for 55 essence. Luckily I have 85 white essence. But looks like there are four different essence types to collect. So I guess... If it's anything like other games, these essences, the purple ones, will be on really hard realms. And, you know, less hard, less hard, normal kind of things. So I'm going to buy the simple sewing bench. He's got other things I could buy. A simple maul, a tool for pounding stakes. It makes it a devastating melee weapon. Or a hammer for repairing. Simple fishing rod if I want to go fishing. An umbrella. Oh, I think I should get an umbrella. Really? And you can also buy estate, uh, buy realm cards. So the estate address card, as I mentioned earlier on in the stream, you can give an estate card to your friends and that will allow them to then visit my estate whenever I'm offline. So if you ever played Valheim, you might have had to pay to rent a server so that people could, like if you had a, pa a bunch of pals who had the same world and you wanted to play on a world when the host wasn't online, you had to rent a server. This one you don't have to. You just give your pals an estate address card and then... Um, uh, and then they can visit whenever they want. They can build loads of stuff. They can knock it down if they're assholes, etc., etc. Uh, explore a card. Play this card to travel more quickly, improving your resistances. Loved by the faction. So I think maybe this card you'd play at, um, when you're opening up a portal. And when you go into that portal, you'll be more, you'll be able to move quicker and stuff. Angler card. Play this card to improve your fishing skills. I've not done any of these types of cards yet, so this, this is out of my knowledge pool. Uh, most of the things that I've talked about on this stream, I did on a preview build, but not this stuff. This card helps keep the stomach satisfied. So there's a, a card which means I don't have to deal with hunger. That's pretty cool. Not, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure where you play them, where you use them. Uh, you can also purchase lights, a simple candle. Damn. Oh, I, I was going to say damn. I want a candle, but I don't have enough essence. But I could just extract those rocks into essence. That's 11 essence. What else can I extract into essence? What about these... Oh, these little... What do they do? Flower, marigold. If I eat them, it mitigates hunger, huh? I'm going to extract 81 essence out of those. And I'm going to go back and talk to Nicholas. I'm going to get myself a nice simple candle. It re does contain requirements I haven't unlocked yet. Which, um... I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's something to... Maybe, oh, advanced roofs. Oh, look! So you can buy crude wood, advanced roofs, crude wood, uh, advanced stone, advanced roofs. So these would be eligible for use in your Platform 32 Just About Bounty. Uh, refinements, a simple saw state table, simple smelter, mortar station. How do I make the wax for the candles as I want to know meat chitin animal fiber lumber rocks you can buy um, all this kind of equipment all these resources even arcane wick cased in candle wax these strands for in I'm going to buy an arcane wick maybe that will help me make a candle is there anything else in there I don't know what else I'd need for the candle, to be completely honest with you. A water bottle. 
I'll leave that. I'll leave that there. I need to... Oh, God. It's got really dark, though. Maybe I should have bought a lantern. Or at least a recipe for a lantern. What I might be able to do, though, once I've built these beds for Matey Boy, is go to sleep on one. And have a long rest until the morning. Yeah, looks like I can. There we go. Long rest until the morning. Nice. Will you let P32 members onto your estates as the DCC0209? I think it would end up ash, wouldn't it? Okay. Hot Wings Dip says the meals in the game are going to improve quickly. Steak ta tartar -ta incoming. <gasps> I'm actually quite hungry at the moment. Wish I could just whip up a steak tartare. Right, Emmett, he's for hire now. So I'm going to recruit him. And now, manage equipment in inventory. What's he holding at the moment? That's a pickaxe, so he'll probably mine rock at the moment. So if I take the pickaxe off him and give him... Let's... Oh, let's repair all of my stuff. Let's go to the crafting menu, and I want to craft a wood axe. Oh, bolts, rocks, and plant fiber. I want to give him an axe, and then he will wander around, and he'll start cutting down trees for me. Was it wood? I needed. Oh, plant fibre. Okay. No wuzzers. You'll get an axe in a second, buddy. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know if tartar, steak tartar is really going to come to this game. But I think they were joking. But I want steak tartar. What am I doing? What am I doing? That was it. Crafting. A makeshift wood axe. Go to my inventory. Oh, no. Talk to Emmett. Manage his equipment. So I've got two axes there. So I give him his axe. Equip it. Now he will, um, after a while, start wandering around cutting down trees and picking up all the wood. Which is nice. Thanks again for posting the link to justabout.com in the chat. Nightcap. What is this? See, I have no idea what this is. It's a puzzle core. I guess I need to put something in it. Something that I don't have. But it looks fairly fancy. See, there you go. Look. Emmett just wandering around. Cutting down trees. You gonna pick that stuff up, Emmett? Or are you just vandalizing? Yeah, he's picked it up. Well he's picked he's picked one of them up. There you go. Right. So, we're still working on the gear score. Where's the map? Need to be heading back to the Oh, okay. So turns out you do get hurt if a tree falls on you. Thanks, Emmett. For helping me find that out. There he is. Oh, he's, oh, he's twerking at me. Emmett. Oh, what is Emmett, you tease. Oh, Emmett. What are you doing, buddy? I think he's got a little bit excited. Uh, Emmett, we need to head back to my base. I, I don't know what direction I'm pointing. Uh, this way. Okay, let's head back to the base, Emmett. You can cut down trees near the base, Emmett. P32's visit would turn everything into massive penises. You're right, Gavin. You're right. So to gift people the, the realm cards, you obviously have to be friends with them on Steam and go to their realm f first, or they come to your realm. You, you know, they, you take them to your realm. Basically, you have to meet up with someone in the game first. I couldn't just do a link to a realm card or something like that. I couldn't. I don't think it works like Animal Crossing Dream visits and things. 
Is that pirate ship? Pretty, pretty spooky around here. Look at this. Yeah. What? What? Some cannon type things. Some fancy music playing that makes me collect. Oh, that's it. Makes me think something bad's gonna happen, but it seems all right. Oh, we found a camp. Someone has had a camp here long ago. All right, Emmett. Doesn't seem to be anything I can steal from the camp, but I could use it as an impromptu base if I wasn't fairly close to mine. That's where the Realmic Transmuter is, and I, I, I believe that that's my base over there, I think. Just uh, it's a bit far away, so the graphics haven't loaded in properly by the looks of things. Luke would definitely ruin everything. You're right, Gavin. L Ian just looked at a figurehead and said, Cannon? I know. I was hoping no one else would have noticed that. It's by a pirate ship, and it was long and looked metallic. Oh, okay. No, that wasn't my building. That is some kind of floating block tree tree block house. Gravity doesn't work normally here, Emmett. So where's my base? Where did I bloody build it? I think it's further this way. I think I'm on the... I think oh, we've got bad guys uh, teleporting in. My base is over there. There it is. I got the, the pool of water confused with another one. Look at these. I don't think my pickaxe is strong enough to get whatever that is. There seems to be some pretty decent resources around here, actually. Look what this will be good for once I've built a smelter, I'm sure. Whoever smelter delta. Do 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 do. Come on, you. Come on. Up we go. And we're back. Back home. Chateau of Della Higton. Alright, still need more stuff. How the hell did you get in here, Emmett? Scary bastard. Alright, what can I craft on here now? Simple umbrella. That's the resources I bought. I need hide, stone block, and a wood bundle. Unfortunately, I used up all my hide so I could make things like the hunting knife, but I still need stone block for that. How... Um, oh... Is there a way to make... Do I know how to make a candle yet? I bought the recipe for a candle, but it may be that... Oh, that'll be in building, won't it? Light. What do I need? Wick. Oh! I've got one. Okay, well, let's... Can I, I can put... That's nice that I can put the candle on top of the workbench. Ooh, I'm starving. Let's eat that and then light the candle. There we go. Tiny little bit of light in the darkness now. Not exactly going to blind me. But fairly cute. Oh, I only bought one wick though. Dang it. Well, that's the extent of the lighting in my house at the moment. Oh, Emmett's cutting trees down again. I d don't, Emmett, see him run away. Like, I didn't do anything, honestly, Governor. Emmett, I know you're cutting down the trees. It's fine. That's what I brought you here for. Emmett, what are you doing? I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's trying to communicate with me. I wonder if that's some kind of Emmett Morse code. He should have. Oh wait. E. Manage equipment and inventory. That's my inventory. I thought he'd have picked up some wood, but I think he, he ran off cheekily and then shook his ass at me before he could. But now, I should be able to make 
Oh no wait, it was stone I needed. I needed stone to make a cool knife. Uh, which is the pickaxe. Wait, uh, was it stone? Was it stone or a stone block I needed? I will get both. How's about that? Boom! How you like that? There we go. Easy to do. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. I'm weighed down by my inventory. Do I look like I care? Oh, I am moving incredibly slowly now. Hey, Emmett. Why aren't you cutting down trees, buddy? I just slowly waddle back to my um, house. No. Can't jump while you're uh, weighed down by your inventory. You just crawl on all fours like a re slow little weak legged baby man. <laughs> he wants shaken to booty, Georgina Herdman, you're right. And he was <laughs> communicating via butt juggles, says Ember Eye laughing. <laughs> Emmett's just living to his own beats, says Dragon Botherer. We're getting there. <laughs> lovely. Lovely, lovely building taking shape. It's gonna be so great. I'm gonna I'm gonna win my own just about bounty. That was the plan all along. <laughs> Wait, I've just let just about know about my plan. Uh, uh okay. We wanted the hunting knife. And we're gonna... Wait, can't autofill? Oh, there you go. That's nice and easy. Craft. Here we go. Collect items. Now... There's my... I think that's my crappy knife. Was that my crappy knife? I can't tell. They're slightly different, but... Neither of them look as fancy as I was hoping. Uh, where's my simple hunting knife, makeshift hunting knife? So it's that one. So that's 20. So while I've got a weapon that is 20, I am still 6. Now. I need to get to gear score 20 to unlock the antiquarian site of power. As you can see, that was probably going to take me a little while, a lot of crafting and, and whatnot. And I've only got about seven minutes left on this stream. But I do have a little cheat that um, I discovered during the preview. It's, it is cheating, and if you die, kind of ruins it. Uh, but if you want to up your if you want to up your gear score nice and quickly, just steal all of Emmett's clothes and then put them on yourself. That's a sixteen. Oh, equip. That's a sixteen. Equip. That's sixteen. Am I equipping this? That's a backpack. Let's equip that. Let's equip those trousers. And there you go. And now you see, I'm up to 12. But, because I haven't learned any of the recipes to build these things, if I die and lose them, then my uh, my equipment rating will drop again. <laughs> Hacks, says Gavin. But look, it's okay. He can have all my old clothes. There you go. I've only sweated in them a little bit, buddy. Uh, you can have that as well. There you go. And uh, 
Oh, did I just transfer that then? How do I... Oh, how do I make it? That's coming back into my... There you go. Hey, you'd never know. You'd never know. I just hired a man to strip him down to his underwear and use him to my advantage, I guess. Emmett doesn't want your hand-me-down, says Gavin. Well, he's getting them. Oh, I think I just built some more walls by accident. Fair play, though. My uh, My chimney... My chimney room is coming on. Still need to build these stairs and things, but yeah, that is the basics, the beginning parts of Nightingale. You need to you need to get through this part. You need to learn all about the building and the crafting and the base mechanics and things before you get to the point where you can start getting cards and going through portals. So the beginning portion of the game. Is quite slow, but once you are once you are jumping through portals and going on adventures, taking down big beasts and apex predators, and um, battling your way up fey towers and things like that, that's when the game really shines. If you like simple crafting mechanics and, and games where you just chill out and build, as you can see, this game has that. And you can come back here and you can build anytime you want. Hell, you can go into a respi uh, into a random procedurally generated realm and build there if you want. You know, um, but this one, this is the realm where the persistent realm that I'll always have. That I'll always call my home and I'll always come back to when I exit through a portal. And uh, it's where I'm going to continue building my structure in an attempt to win... My own bounty over on justabout.com. So, before I leave, let's do one final justabout.com shout out. Justabout.com is a brand new platform. Uh, it's just started. It was founded by my old boss, Rupert Lohman. And it's a cool place that rewards positivity and creativity. Um, amongst the, the content creator community and people who love to chat and communicate on like message boards and you know online with other people. You get rewarded by doing things called bounties. Each bounty has a set time limit. For instance the platform thirty two guest bounty which is build the tallest structure from wood and stone. Um you have to do that within you've got with you've got nine days to do that. And you can win up to twenty-five dollars. There are five prizes. Twenty-five, fifteen, ten, and two fives. All you need to do is you need to create a video. Uh, this is the video entry. Well what you need to do is you need to construct your tower out of wood or stone, which is what I've been doing there. Height is the name of the game for this build challenge, but you'll get some points for style too. So, I've got a good foundation, but I need to go much higher. Make the structure in your respite realm, or whatever this realm is now called, uh, which I have done. And then it says, be sure to verify your screenshot or video via social media using the instructions below. We welcome video images Submissions for this bounty, and there is no minimum or maximum video length. This is a tiered bounty offering different rewards. And it's open to everyone, but it's being launched in conjunction with the Legends of Platform 32. Look at that. You can tune in. YouTube, Platform 32's YouTube channel. They sound cool. You should go and like and subscribe uh, to Platform 32 on YouTube, and perhaps follow Platform 32 on uh, on Twitch as well. And you can follow, follow uh, the host, Ian Hickton. There on Twitter, if you'd like. Um, and you've got details here on how to submit your video entry. You can connect YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram account. And then you tag just about on YouTube, or on Instagram, or on TikTok. 
and then you submit this bounty just below the description. Share a link to the post. And then it's similar how you do it with an image. And then once the deadline closes, we'll pick five submissions. And there you go. But it's not just the Platform 32 guest bounty. You can do it on, of course. The Just About Nightingale community has just started. And there are loads of bounties to try out. Two days on that one. That one's closed. We've got two days left on that one. Tell us, tell us why you've decided to play Nightingale. That one, show your Nightingale hot takes and first impressions. Five days for to write a review or something. And you can do all of these. You can enter all of these and potentially, you know, win $3 here, $2 there, $5 there. And uh, it'll hopefully uh, start adding up. And, of course, you don't just have to do it in Nightingale as well. If you like EVE, they've got an EVE Online channel here. They've got a generic video games channel here with some live bounties. What should someone make a game about? Tell us for $8. Take the best screenshot of a city in any game. Hold on. Sorry. I'm um, starving to death. I don't think I've got any any meat left. Have I? I'm going to have to go and cook some food. I'll oh, sod it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You'll just hear my stomach grumbling in the background potentially uh, Helldivers 2 has anybody been able to play it so this is just a discussion you don't get um, any um, bounty rewards for the discussions I don't think but uh, there might be stuff for like nice behavior and things I'm not 100% sure that's something um, I'm sure just about will be able to answer but there's stuff here for content creators here welcoming content creators introduce yourself to just about content creators you've got film and tv section so if you like let's share a still of a beautifully framed scene from a movie so if you love a movie and you think there's a sh an awesome shot there take a screenshot and share it and then um ten ten six dollar available prizes there that closes in six days. So if you're the sort of person that loves interacting with people on the internet, on message boards, on a like a kind of Discord-y style thing, if you like content creation, if you like writing, if you like taking screenshots, if you like making music. I mean, even the sport one here, look, the sport one. Show us some skill. Share a clip of an amazing trick shot for up to $6. And I presume that's your own trick shots, maybe. That's your own stuff, but I, I presume. Oh, no, share an original or third-party video. So it doesn't have to be your own thing, but you could if you're an amazing... If you play Hacky Sack really well, you could share a video of that. You know, there's loads of stuff on there. It's a brand-new uh, platform. It's in its beta. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of... There's, there's not many communities, but there's a lot of potential for these communities to grow around games that are upcoming and everything. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, um, Rupert's a great guy. I know a few people from um, Eurogamer, um, from the sales team and stuff that have gone on to work there. So, you know, um, and I just thought the, I, I just think the idea is really nice. A nice way to cultivate a bit of positivity on the Internet and... Uh, potentially get a little bit of extra pocket money as well if you if you're really invested in in hanging out there and if you want to join it there is a link to uh, just about nightingale community in the video description below um you know you don't have to join it you could just go pop along and read about it and then forget about it but you know the link's there if you want to check it out and see um nightingale of course has just come out too i'm going to be playing a bit more of this on Thursday from 6 p.m. till 8 p.m., again sponsored by Just About Nightingale. So if any of you have submitted anything by then, or you've posted anything uh, already, maybe I can have a look at them on the stream. And I'll continue building my structure on that stream as well with the help of the wonderful Emmett there, who looks a little bit angry. Keeps looking at my clothes with jealousy. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, yes, thanks again to Just About for sponsoring, for being the first sponsor on Platform 32. Thanks to everyone who watched. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this video and this little look at Nightingale. Uh, if you did, 
please do subscribe, follow on Twitch, and uh, yeah, have a great day. No stream for me tomorrow because I'm off in London uh, doing some Eurogamer work, playing a game. You'll see more about that on Eurogamer later. But yes, I'll be back streaming on Thursday. And then, of course, we've got the normal Friday community nonsense uh, coming up this weekend. Well, coming up this Friday from 6.30 p.m. onwards. So thanks, everyone. Cheers, mods, for keeping everyone safe. And I'll see you all soon on Platform 32. Bye.